Oh, oh! Kiku was able to push him off the bridge! I have too many questions. What was he even trying to oh. So, Godzilla Analog Horror. Part 2. If you haven't watched the first part, go check it out, you guys. I'll put the link in the description. We watch Godzilla, Ungures, and Mothra. It's basically this guy mutating inside of the Godzilla suit, which leads to some incidents later on. And it just gets dark, bro. Yeah. So as you can tell, I have seven different videos. We're going to react to them all. All of these videos are by Unknowingly, so shout out to you, bro. I'll put the link in the description for you guys to check it out. But other than that, you guys, I don't know what else to say. So let's go. All right, then, first video. Godzilla Encounter 1962 Godzilla Analog Horror. So all I know right now is that there's a man in the suit, the Godzilla suit, and he's mutated inside. And it's just dark. It's catastrophic. Wait, is that King Kong or Kong? The Titanic uh, terrifying battle. The mightiest monsters of all time. Oh, this reminds me of a game on the GameCube where it was all the Titans. Oh, King Kong versus Godzilla or Godzilla. Ooh. But there was a game on GameCube where you would play as the Titans and fight other Titans, bro. It was a freaking awesome game. I played it when I was little. Okay. Screen, oh, screen went black for a sec. Oh, it went black again. Oh, I could barely hear it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm trying to listen to it. Huh? A Antic, something like that? Titanic, maybe? E I feel like there's gonna be a jump scare for some reason. I'm too traumatized for this, dude. <laughs> I could barely hear it. Are we good? Okay, we're good. King Kong vs. Godzilla color, all new, the what? I can't read the top one. Yeah. Oh, the mightiest monsters of all time, maybe? Hey, dude, the new movie that came out last year or two years ago? Crazy, man, between those two. Uh, with the man in the suit being the only Godzilla suit at the time, they use him for the next film. Oh my god, it's still using the same guy? Literally, remake or remake the suit, give it to someone else, boom, problem solved. And, you know, shoot the other guy. <laughs> with King Kong being an American film, the man in the suit wasn't having it. Hey, someone's a little jealous. This is where I come in. Oh, so this guy's um, telling his story? Almost choked for a bit. <laughs> uh, I will be hiding my eyes and my name for me and my family's safety. All right, so it looks like he was a survivor from the incident. I was put into a job of being the cameraman. They told me what happened for and told me to stay quiet about it I would, or I would be arrested. Nah, you need to sue, bro. Your life was on the line. But the truth needs to come out somehow. All right, so he's telling his truth. But dang, bro. The fact there are some companies that literally will make you shut up for, for whatever reason is crazy. The man in the suit wasn't happy making a movie with the Americans. Okay, alright. <laughs> uh, Toho producers forced him to look more appealing to a younger audience. <laughs> this, this, I'm not going to say it, but whatever. He wasn't happy with how this all played out. I didn't know Godzilla was a... Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, he had a very bad dislike towards the actor in the King Kong suit. Uh, Shoei Ilerose? Il Ilerose? I'm sorry for the mispronunciation, dude. Uh, he either thought, okay, was a traitor for portraying an American monster or something, or saw something in him. Uh, we knew that he wasn't a, a big fan of the Americans. He would roar at them and try to attack them. We treated him, him like a lion at the zoo. Oh, okay, so I, 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 yeah, because it doesn't sound like an American name, his name. We had to film one more scene. I was instructed to stop filming. The script was for after destroying the big building. He would act to use his uh, atomic ray breath. Oh, on him. It did not go as planned because when he used his breath, Godzilla breath, whatever, he started spitting out uh, blood, dude. That thing was freaking disturbing. Oh. oh, dang. Oh, oh. Kiku was able to push him off the bridge. I mean, the cliff. Oh, shoot, dude. That freaking loud. Oh. Okay. The man in the suit would push yeah, yeah, off the cliff, and I had to record it all. 
That wasn't part of the script, huh? That wasn't part of the script! Oh, there was, maybe it was. There was a struggle in the water, splashing as one of them frantically tried to get out of the other's grasp. Okay, so they still, I guess it was part of the script, you know, they just had to, you know, jump off the cliff and um, fight in the water. Only one of them rose from the water! I take it back, it wasn't part of the script! <laughs> and it was Godzilla. So he literally drowned the other guy. Yep, it got dark. So we now, oh, the cameraman just witnessed murder during the production film. I was sick to my stomach, not wanting to know what he had done to uh, Shoichi Ilaros. I got my other camera, something, something. I tried to leave the long corridors of the Tohoyo studio, wanted to go take a quick breath, a breath of fresh air, and I heard screams from the other room that I had left. <gasps> The power went out. Oh no! I used the flash of my camera trying to look around frantically trying to find an exit. I heard someone's footsteps walking towards me. I thought it was an employee. It was Godzilla, dude. It wasn't an employee. Oh no, so what did you see before? It was the man in the suit. Come on, that was the perfect moment for a jump scare. Oh no! Ooh. Dude, imagine seeing that in the dark by yourself. Cause remember, that's not a normal person inside. It's a dude literally thinking he's Godzilla and he's mutated. And that was the end of the video, okay. Look, a lot of you guys might be saying like, dude, this is not that scary, bro. Calm down. I mean, you're not wrong, but I'm thinking it like this. I'm trying to put myself in that situation, you know? I'm trying to imagine myself really hard like, look, if I was in his shoes and this thing literally pops up out of nowhere, how would I feel about this? Of course I'm gonna get chills. Of course I'm gonna get scared, dude. And if you're saying you're not gonna get scared if you were put in that situation, you're lying. You're lying. Shut up. I don't care. You're lying. All right, the next video. Depiction of growth. 1962 Godzilla analog horror. I was started by the first encounter of the man in a suit. It made me more curious than ever. It might harm me of doing this, but I need answers. Is this still the same cameraman? Probably so. Uh, so I've gone to one of my friends who was smart with this stuff. I won't name her, so I call her Elissa. Uh, I called her, but she was in the middle of teaching of her class. Okay, let's go back for a bit. I called her, but she was in the middle of teaching her class, but she was still calling me because of how curious she was. She never seen anything like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I recorded a session or oh, section of the call. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna hear the um, interaction between them. The thing is, whatever this was caused wasn't from a pill. This is something else. Oh God, this is the work of radiation. What? Holy, holy. The man Sensor. in the suit doesn't fuse with the suit instantly. His body explodes in the suit. It <laughs> shapes itself in the suit. How do I explain this? Imagine a cream-filled donut. Uh, Without the cream, it's mostly a flat donut. Yeah. That was the suit before, but because of the filling. Filling. The man, it basically filled up all the space. But him and a cream-filled donut are different. The cream and donut are separate entities. There is a barrier so they don't mix. The man in the suit, however, his skin, his flesh, his bones... It's fusing with the suit. His teeth would be the suits. Whatever he took. It's mutating him. It's making him more like a creature than a human. Soon he will have animalistic properties. Like using its teeth more effectively. Whoa. And would be able to control his tail. You said his eyes could move? And that they are bloodshot? Yeah. But in this photo, Ooh. his eyes flashed back. Human eyes don't do that. Ooh. Try and put him down. If not, it is probably too late for mankind. So would he actually turn to the real Godzilla, maybe? So he was mutated and... Okay, wait. She said something about him mutating to the point that he looks like a beast. Yeah, like the donut with the fillings. <laughs> um, wait. I questioned what he would look like when he is fully mutated. She corrected me that there's no stopping for the mutation. She then told me to go to an artist and gave me a description that I sadly forgot now. 
Who's knocking? The thumping noise, bro. Maybe. I told them to make the art and they complied. My Japanese would be a bit rusty because I thought I asked for one drawing but got three. Here are the drawings. Dude, who, what, who's making that background noise? E. Oh, so that's how you look like? If he goes through with the mutation process? That looks like, you know, the regular Godzilla we know. Oh, but keep in mind that this is literally a person exploded inside the suit and started filling the suit, and that is how he looks like. Like, his body flesh looks like that. I couldn't understand a single word. I, 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 I'm, I'm deaf. <laughs> well, at least we know that it wasn't the drug pill that made him mutate. It was also radiation. And with those two factors mixed, it led him to freaking mutate to an actual Godzilla. Creepy, man. This stuff is creepy. <laughs> okay, then. Next video. Suit Trial. 1958. Godzilla Analog Horror. I don't read Japanese, you guys. I just translated on Google. <laughs> man in a suit, man. I snuck around the Toho building a day after the encounter with the man in the suit. Ooh. I found a tape label, I don't know, because I don't read Japanese. <laughs> I realized this was some years after the Ungurus incident. Oh, okay, so this is after that, where he got turned or mutated too. Let me just sh show it. All right. <laughs> Ooh. I need to man up more, bro. The freak? I have translated some... Okay, I can barely read that. <laughs> what is you saying? Do you guys get this? Because I'm so lost. Let's start with the man in a suit. Uh, I can't read that, man. I'm too blind. He destroyed the fight and something... I don't know, I don't know. Okay, all right. At least we're done with that. No more subtitles. I, I need bigger subtitles. <laughs> oh. Hello? <laughs> what is that? A finger? What is that supposed to be? Ooh. Dude, I'm just as last as you guys, dude. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out what the freak I'm looking at. Are they scanning something? Is that supposed to be the suit? Maybe. I can kind of see the tail, but it wouldn't make sense because the thing, it's a long neck if that was the suit. So no, it can't be the suit. Whoa. Excuse me. What is that noise? I don't hear the little girl's voice anymore too in the background. It's saying something but I can't understand what it's saying.
I thought I heard something. Oh, she's back. They're laughing. Oh no, never mind. That's a uh, creature's. The Godzilla's roar. <laughs> what is going on at this point, man? Stark? Stark like Tony Stark? Or oh, Dark? It's Dark? That could be it. Jump scare. No? Whoop! Dude, like half of this video was just me like questioning what the frick is going on. I, I, I don't know, that's the truth though. Like, I don't know what's going on. Ooh, I see something in the distance. It's a face of Godzilla. It's a face or oh, the jaw. Yep, there he is. Oh, it's the front view too. No, you see his eyes too. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I hate when the music just cuts off like that. Oh, thank you. Oh, I thought this would be another freaking jump scare. Uh, okay, we're done. All right then. Mailed message. 1962 Godzilla analog horror. I assume that this much is cursed or something. I don't know. I was mailed this tape. Oh, it's a tape. I don't think someone in the Toho Studios made this. Oh, it came from there? Oh, do you freaking... You don't understand. Oh, look at those people. You killed my family. Maybe this was for the guy in the man in the suit? I can't read the Japanese. Oh, you're, you're, you Americans cheer... F oh, we lost our homes. We lost our families. You nuked us. <laughs> the nuke took my wife. Oh, I just realized a siren. That's the siren of the in the background. The nuke took my kids. God, imagine surviving that, but you lost everything else. Uh, his sh oh, the Hishra bomb. Yeah, yeah. I I left for a business trip. Dang. You took everything from me. So I decided to return peace. Are you gonna send Godzilla there? By getting rid of the people who wronged us. Ooh. Hey. Godzilla was there and now he's not. I think they're gonna seek for him and then send him over there, maybe? There he is. But he's just a normal-sized human person, so... I don't, I don't know. Right, we'll see. Ooh, look at those teeth. <sighs> so I guess that was the Japanese trying to respond to the Hishiro bomb or whatever. And by doing so, they're gonna send Godzilla there, maybe to America? Or I could be taking this freaking video totally wrong, so... Eh. Okay then. Dorsal Extraction, 1962 Godzilla Analog Horror. I recently got two sets of mail. Hey, more than me, man. They were shabby, but they came from Toho. Toho Studios, I assume. They didn't look professional. Ooh, someone must have sent him in secret then. They look sloppy. All right, stop criticizing his freaking packaging skills, bro. One was how nobody at Toho mailed me the weird package, even though the mailing address was from there. Huh? Second was that I was fired. They must have thought I was telling people this. They were correct. He got caught. I'm surprised you didn't get killed, bro. Because they could get sued if you tell them the truth or the public the truth. Thankfully, I had uh, befriended someone to be a spy and gave me photos and tapes of what was happening. Ooh. So I guess we're going to see more photos of Godzilla. He came here earlier with a tape called AKA Dorsal Extraction. 
Oh, so they so they got a video footage of the guy removing his suit. As uh, I think. Hey. I can't read that. <laughs> we will try and get him out of the suit. Ooh, okay, okay, so I was right. All right, kids, get ready. We are unsure if this is going to work. With that static noise, I don't think it's going to work. Ooh. Is he going to... I feel like he's going to scream in pain or make noises in pain because he can't talk anymore. <sighs> What? The tail just appeared. What's next? A head? Oh no. Wait, what is that? The tail got bigger. They're gonna freaking cut him? You know it's really bad if they need to bring out the big freaking guns. He was very cooperative. Really? I thought he would try to fight back, bro, because that's literally tearing into his flesh. We thought it would hurt him back. Oh, hurt him, but it didn't. Hey, he's a... He's a Chad. <laughs> what does that say? The results are fantastic. You're enjoying this? What's wrong with you? What is that? Oh! 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 That noise is disgusting! I couldn't tell what that was, anyways. What? Oh. I'm surprised that it isn't the end because the spy told me that after two minutes of this being filmed the man in the suit would attack the man in the, with the camera he told me that flash from the camera hurt his eyes oh RIP cameraman <laughs> I was zoning out for a second it just I don't know uh, the person took photos while they ran these are the photos so how do you look like without the suit? Whoa. Oh, that's his foot. Wait, what else is that? Remember, he's running while he's taking the picture, so it makes sense why some of them are being blurred. Come on, come on. What's the last photo? I'm pretty sure there's one more. What is that? Is that his stomach? Godzilla kind of chubby, bro. Come on, get an actual good photo, bro. I know your life was on the line during that time. <gasps> you can see his eyes, too. And his freaking um jaw is gone. Oh, that picture, though, dude. Uh, it's going to stay here forever. <laughs> All right, the next video. Ungurus Suit, 1956, Godzilla Analog Horror. Alright, so we're back with Ungurus, bro. After digging for it, they had finally found it. His body? He finally got the tape I wanted. Secret tape? Secret video? I want to know what happened to the man in the Ungurus suit. Alright. I mean, I think the last time I remember, or I remember it was, uh... He mutated in the suit. We have tried our best to comply with the other person. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even trying to go back. I'm tired. But his persistence uh, hurts our finances. E. Oh, hey, money shouldn't matter, right? Because you guys are freaking rich. People want to see him, but he doesn't want to be seen. Well, too bad. <laughs> I was confused at first. This was all? Bro, you got it. Stop complaining. You got something. He could have not given you nothing. Uh, then he started to explain. 
He explained that the next movie was supposed to be the man in the ungrist suit versus the man in the suit. Again, they don't reference him as Godzilla anymore. They have tried their best wanting to comply with the Ungurus like if they were training a dog to do tricks. It's messed up. He snapped a photo of them trying to comply with the Ungurus. Oh, he mad mad. This is them trying to comply with him? Bro's trying to fight back. Bro's trying to be free. Freedom. They said they were going to use force on him using tasers and such. Oh my god, so much for a peaceful... <laughs> Agreement, dude. Hey, if they start, if he starts killing you, that's your fault, bro. But he wanted me that there was a movie in the works. Wait, what? Oh no, but he warned me that there was a movie in the works. Okay, okay. Something about Gojira battling a. Is it? Is it? Um, shoot. What was that guy's name? King Adora? No, Giant Moth. Mothra. Oh, uh, and I. So, so this takes place before the Mothra incident. No. Oh. Yep. There it is. Oh, I wish I was able to watch this with the others because all of these videos are in between with the others that we watched from the previous part. That's my fault. It's my fault. Okay, last video. Rare newspaper, 1964, Godzilla Analog Horror. All right, let's see how this ends, man. I've tried to get off of this situation and just leave Japan, but if I tried to, I'd probably be arrested. I mean, you got... You got no other choice, man. Do you want to live? <laughs> I went too far into this rabbit hole, too far to the point I can't get out. Okay, so you put yourself in that situation, you, you, that, that's on you. Nothing much we can do. It just keeps getting worse. Can't catch a break, man. What the frick is that noise? <laughs> I just realized. Somewhere in the making of the new movie, the man in the suit somehow escaped. Okay, so is this is either takes place before he escaped or no 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 after he escaped or they retrieve him. I don't know. Uh how do I know this? Yeah, how do you know this? I was on the news. So you're saying that this whole person, this whole entire time, it was you narrating it? It was the person in the suit? Title, Monstrous Movie, Monster Sighting. Dude, that's a, dude, that's a twist. That's a good twist, if I'm right. Sightings and witnesses have seen a creature that resembles a lanky and tall Godzilla. No, okay, no, never mind. I don't think I don't think I'm right. <laughs> Maybe I'm just yapping a lot right now. <laughs> One late night, couple started to travel home as the husband took some photos. The husband was a photographer and thought taking a picture of the road would be an inspiration to his next photo piece. But instead, he saw Gajira with the man in the suit. Alright, let's see this photo, buddy. Let's see if it's worth um breathtaking. One of the photos captured this. <gasps> Dude, he's huge! Because that's the POV of him in the car, right? And that dude looks like he's like freaking four times its size. Around later that night, a boy who would see a silhouette of this mysterious beast thinking it was Godzilla. He stormed outside with the camera trying to take a photo of it. Were you right, boy? Were you right? Or were you just seeing things? Maybe he saw the other... The other guys? The young Chris? Maybe Mothra? No, Mothra was still in his cocoon in the larva stage, so no. These were the photos he was able to take. Yep, that is him. Ah, oh, man. Hey, this kid was probably like, oh, I would have been like, oh. oh, man. Hey, the second that Godzilla move looks straight at him oh, like that, he's done for. You're done, kid. You better you either had to start running at that moment or you got caught and you got eaten. <laughs> We have tried to interview the kid, asking him what he has seen and to draw a picture of the creature. Oh, so the kid survived. Well, yeah, it makes sense because he gave out the pictures. I'm so stupid. Ow. I 
I've seen the film with my dad. I know what Godzilla would look like, said the kid. Okay, but did I ask? <laughs> I'm just I'm just tired right now, you guys. <laughs> The thing I saw outside on the street wasn't Godzilla. Ooh, he saw something else. Maybe the Ungurus? <laughs> the freaking background music. I keep thinking it's like a fart or something, but it's a trumpet. The beast's skin looked fake yet real. Very uncanny. Hey, yo, uh, Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny? <laughs> I haven't watched that in a while, man. That's a lot of stuff I've been watching in a while. I don't think it was a creature. It might be some man in a suit. So it is the guy in a suit. The Godzilla, basically. I don't know how I can explain this. Oh, no. I don't know how I can explain his face. It somehow kept changing. I think it's because of the lack of sleep. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're not wrong, kid. Maybe his face is uh, changing because he's mutated. He's constantly mutating still. But I do remember one of his faces. He quickly drew a drawing of it. Oh, let's see this face, kid. Oh, no. Oh, that looks really cursed. Toho got wind of, of this fast, explaining this was a promotion for their new movie. They're trying to cover it! They're trying to cover their freaking... Ah! They just kept getting away with it, man. They need to be shut down! They need to be cancelled! I'm just joking. This is obviously fake. Somehow they were able to stop anyone copies of his... Wait, what? Somehow they were able to stop any any more copies of this story from printing again. Oh, sorry, you guys. I'm just blind and can't read, man. I'm an idiot. An idiot. I have too many questions. What was he even trying... Oh. <laughs> I have too many questions. What was he even doing outside? How did he even escape? Were Toe able to catch him? How about you just shut up? <laughs> um. Hello? Why are we still on the screen? Mothra. She hatch. She hatch! Hello. Oh! Alright, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Bye.